After knowing the overview of Dongcheng Motor Manufacturing, I will take you with Mr. Huang to know the specific situation of motor manufacturing, aluminum processing and injection molding workshop of our company. Hello, Mr. Huang. Hello. Hello. Could you introduce the overall situation of the Components Manufacturing Center? Okay, welcome to Components Manufacturing Center of Dongcheng Company. Today, I will show you three workshops mode aluminum processing and injection molding. We have been engaged in the design and production of die casting molds for power tools and garden tools since many years ago, and also have accumulated rich working experience. Let's visit the workshop. Okay. This is our molding workshop. There are more than 100 workers in the molding department. There are 98 sets of mold manufacturing equipment, and annual output can be 600 units. In the coming five years, we will establish an intelligent mold manufacturing center. At that time, annual output will be 1,000 units. This is Mr. Zhang, the manager of our mold workshop. Let he introduce the situation of the mold workshop. All right, take your time. Hello, Mr. Zhang. Hello. Could you please introduce the advanced equipment of the mold workshop? Okay, now we can see the machine is imported from Japan Makino EDNC6 EDM machine. It uses LCD touch screen display, easy and quick for operation, equipped with advanced power control system at the same time. It has fast discharge speed and processing progress. This is suitable for medium and large position mold, which is over. 30% efficiency than other equipment of similar types. This is Makino F5 processing center that imported from Japan. It has spindle speed of 20,000 RPM and equipped with 30 cutter. This machine has high processing precision, which is suitable for the processing of some precision components with high quality, high efficiency, and good performance. There are altogether 14 machine centers and 16 EDM machines in this mode workshop. We have specialized coursing machine, finish machine, grift melting, and a Cooper Electrodo machine. That is why we have a considerable guarantee for the production of mode efficiency and quantity. The next is also a grift mining machine import from Japan. Mr. Zhang, are the components that I see now produced by ourselves, what are they used for? Yes, all the components are made by ourselves. This is Cooper and Grift Electrodo by our German DMG equipment and Japanese Makino equipment. And then the EDM machine discharges the motor core through the grift electrodes and process other molding. Now, we are going to this room. Here is our Makino E3 high-speed grift machine, also imported from Japan. This machine has the spindle speed of 30,000 RPM and 30 cutters. It can process 10 grift electrodes at the same time. This machine has high cutting capacity and it can quickly and automatically change the cutter, so that we can greatly shorten the processing circle. It is a strong support for the full load operation of our EDM. What we see now is our WEDM area, which includes 9 sets of various models from Makino and Saudi. These equipments have high processing precision and high finish that are used to process the aperture of some precise components. We are going to visit the newly introduced climbing machine. Our mode assembly engineers are bending in mode. The function of the machine is equivalent to horizontal injection molding machine. It is pressure balancing. The climbing machine can better ensure the mode quality and improve service life through pressure adjustment. Now, let's visit our mode R&D team on the second floor. Now, we are in the mold R&D office on the second floor. Okay, could you please introduce the strengths of development and manufacturing? At present, we have a strong mold R&D team with more than 20 senior engineers. During the developing process, we organize various mold reveal meetings 
by means of DFM report, mode flow analysis, and simulation movement through continuous verification, we can design a reasonable mode structure. Finally, it can reduce the manufacturing cost, extend the mode service life, and improve the production efficiency of injection molding. We can more clearly see the working status of equipment and workers' activities in our workshop from this platform. The above is the overall introduction about our workshop. Well, thanks for your sharing, Mr. Zhang. My pleasure.